What's up guys, it's me your badass host Dravid and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Did you miss this walkthrough guys? I sure did. Yeah, there was a very good reason to why we took a month off from all of this and that is because, well, we needed to do Pokemon Plan and we needed to get ahead of, ga of the game and all that stuff and uh, well I guess we could say that, you know, we left it off at a very good spot with capturing Lugia, you know, showing you guys what it would look like if you were to capture Lugia in Soul Silver and all that stuff. Now, right here in this episode, we are going to be going with the Arceus event. Now, mind you, you can get one of the three legendary Pokemon from Sinnoh, it doesn't really matter, but it all requires the action replay code, which will be on the description down below. And what you need to do now is press the L and R button in order for this to actually be affected and all that crud. And we need to go straight into the Pokemart. Once you press the L and R button, you're going to be seeing a guy with a green suit right here. And he's going to be like, good evening, you must be Draven. I've received a gift for you. Here you go. And here we get ourselves an Arceus, which, uh, of course, will be added to our team. So let's go right ahead and take a look at this special Arceus. And, uh, well, not right there. I'm still trying to get it used to this whole thing so as you guys can see this is an event Arceus from the movie and all that stuff it is at level 100 and apparently it had a fateful encounter at level 100 it's maxed out and as you guys can see right here it's stats through the roof ability multi-type changes its type to the match to health plate and as you guys can see judgment roar of time special wrench shadow force this Pokemon knows it all and this is one of the th first things that you need in order to actually activate this whole event right here. Now, the next thing, too, before we do anything, let's go right ahead and take a look at our Pokedex right here. Now, I kind of feel as though that it might be right here. And yes. So, Arceus is now in our Pokedex. As you guys can see, it is the Alpha Pokemon. Basically, God. According to the Legends of Sinnoh, this Pokemon emerged from an egg and shaped all there is in the world. That is pretty true. Now, the next place we need to go to is we have to go straight to the, what was it called, uh, the Ruins of Alf, because that's where this event is going to take place. So let's go right ahead and go with Rainbow Chicken right here. Look at that, Rainbow Chicken. It's been a while, man. It has been a while. Okay, so let's go right ahead and run straight to the uh, Ruins of Alf. Now, as I said before, yes, we took a month off for Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver because of course, we needed to get Pokemon uh, Planum going, and, well, it's been received well. Thank you guys very, very much for all the great comments and all that stuff. Things are going to continue. Now, what we need to do now is go straight into the Ruins of Alf, the East Entrance, and what needs to happen next is, I do believe you need to get, you need to have Arceus right in the front of your teams, right? Here, we're going to be going to Arceus. This Pokemon is no longer inside right here because it's big A fuck. And look at this. We are in the ruins of Alf. And right when you try to enter the door, this guy is going to be like, ouch. Uh-oh. Are you okay? I was in a hurry and, uh, sorry, did I hurt you? Oh, wow. No way. Could it, could it be a Pokemon from Sinnoh? The one they call Arceus? Yes, it is. Level 100. Oh, could it be Arceus causing all of this? I cannot explain it any other way. Hmm. Arceus may be the key to solving the mystery of the unknown and the ruins of Alf. Can you come with me, or can you come to the ruins of Alf with me? Please, you must. I am trembling with excitement. I think something's about to happen. And right here, they're going to be taking us straight into the ruins of Alf. And, uh, well, he notices something. He's like, hmm. I've been studying the ruins for many years, but something feels different. Hmm. And as he reads into the templates, or the tablets, tablets right here, and I'm holding a notebook on my, my leg. Wow! The, the unknown pictures on the wall! It feels like they're staring at me! Oh, wow. Okay. What is this? There's something eerie that is making it, my leg shiver. I can't stop them! And, uh, well, would you look at this? So just like that, guys, we have been teleported somewhere else. Now, where is this place that we've been teleported? And, oh, well, I don't even know. The Sinjo? Yes, the Sinjo place. Well, hello, it's freezing, isn't it? For a youngster like you to be interested in the Sinjo ruins is not something we see every day. Take a look at them. 
from the design of the pillars at the Sinjo ruins, you can see that the cultures of Sinnoh and Johto have blended. Hmm, what was I thinking? We don't need to be standing here. Why don't we uh, uh, come to the cabin around the corner for, for, for more discussion? Okay, well, let's go right ahead and take care of this business right here. Here we are in the Sinjo. And, uh, well, by the way, we happen to have a person at the cabin. Any trainer should know who she is. The famous trainer from Sinnoh. She is traveling around to study the myths and ancient ruins. Isn't that something? Hmm, I wonder who could it be. Hmm, my powers of deduction must be tingling because, uh, hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Well, hello there. So as you guys can see, here we have Cynthia. And she's like, my name is Cynthia. I am a Pokemon trainer. The Sinjo ruins remind me of Sinnoh, where I come from. Initially, I thought it was because it snows a lot here as well. But that was not it. A long time ago, people came from Sinnoh to live here. They must be, or they must have built a temple here while logging for a home, or longing for a home. That's why we call this the Sinjo Ruins. Hmm, you are a Pokemon trainer? I can sense a strong power coming from your Pokeball. Yeah, you can, huh? I feel a, I feel a familiar presence, the power of the Alga, Palkia, or could it be Giratina? It's similar, but not quite the same. Hmm. Have you got time? Can you come to the Sinjo Ruins with me? Call it a trainer's intuition. When you and your Pokemon step into onto the, or step onto the stage, something will happen. Well, it looks like to us, we got something afoot. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's like, a long time ago, people used to draw life from Pokemon and also give their lives uh, to those Pokemon. That shows that people in Pokemon used to be more closely bonded with each other. When people move from place to place, the myths and legends of Pokemon and their power would be carried with those people. That's how myths and legends from each region blended with each other. The ancient ruins here have inherited the legends from both the ruins of Alf in Johto and the Spear Pillar of, jo of Sinnoh. That is proof that people from Johto and Sinnoh blended together as a group. Hmm, you don't say. And, well, this guy will actually take us back home, but we really don't need to go there right now. So, what we need to do is go back into the ruins of uh, Elf or Sinjo Ruins, the place that we came into. Look at this. Sinjo Ruins. Okay. And here we are, and hello there. Cynthia is going to be like, this is the mystery uh, stage. The mythical stage built to show respect for Arceus. It is said that people used to celebrate a magnificent uh, might with music and dance. Some people in Johto still pass down the tradition. The mystery stage allows a single Arceus to, and nothing else to get on stage. If you wish to go up there, you have to deposit your other Pokemon in the PC at the cabin. Oh, wow. Completely forgot about that. So, let me, uh, I'll be right back with you guys. Well, hello there. Okay, so after depositing every single one of our Pokemon, we can go up to the mystery stage. And Cynthia is going to be telling us, according to an ancient document, time, space, and antimatter, or what combined we call the, the world, shall be born when Arceus stands onto the mystery stage. And well, Cynthia's going to be like, this is where one uh, one might say the lead or the lead enters the mystery stage at last. All my study of ruins and Pokemon mythology, mythology, yes, in Sinnoh may have been may have been to bring you up to the stage here today. Okay, so we're gonna go down the middle. Now here's the catch: Cynthia's gonna be telling us depicted on the mystery stage uh, are Pokemon sh that shape this world. The circle in the middle is Arceus, the origin of it all. And right here, this is the pattern that represents Palkia, the master of space and dimensions. The one to our left. Mm, 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 mm. This is the pattern of that represents Dialga, the guardian of time. And right up top, right here, is this pattern is the, represents the Giratina, the ruler of the world that is the opposite side of ours, the matter uh, or the world of antimatter. Arceus has accepted you as a trainer. Arceus, having shaped the world, is said to show you a glimpse of a troop of its true power. The power of possibility making life appear out of nothing. Okay. It seems that something will happen when you choose one of these circles. You want to be well prepared. So, here's the deal, guys. You can only choose one, and only one, circle. And, uh, from there, yeah, that's pretty much what, what happens. So, what we're gonna, oh yeah, before I even go in there, 
it doesn't matter which one you choose, guys. It's going to be the same, the same, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be the same cutscene. So do not worry if you picked one or the other. It's going to be the same. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going with the badass Pokemon itself. We're going to go with Giratina. Yes, the ruler of the distortion world. Let's go right ahead and see what happens. So as you guys can see, Arceus going down the middle. And it's making things happen. Oh, crud. I will be right back, guys. Well, it looks like we have a mysterious round object that took shape of a Pokemon. And here it is, guys. We have obtained Giratina. It would be the same thing for either one. And would you like to give this Giratina nickname? No, I will not. And, uh, well, that is pretty much it right there. Cynthia's gonna be like, the Shining Sphere? Could it be an egg? Did we just witness the very moment an egg was brought to this world? A moment no one else has ever seen? Hmm. An egg is that the an egg is the cradle of everything, every being. The, this planet itself is an egg in a sense. Life that comes from an egg will come to an end in due course, to begin anew. That may be what Arceus wanted to wanted to show us. Huh. and uh oh, something's happening. And he's like, that was. We seem to be surrounded by the strong power again. And well. Just like that, guys. We are back in Johto, and this guy's gonna be like, Oh, are you alright? You disappeared right in front of me. I was so surprised. Hmm, I see. The power of Arceus and Unknown affected each other to create a huge energy, which sent you to the Sinjo Ruins. Unknown, the ruins of Elf and Arceus. The mystery deepens. It has made me more, or it has made me even more inquisitive. I will one day solve all the mysteries. Yes, yes, you will. Well, it looks like that right there is that. So, look at this, guys. Uh, we're going to be getting the heck out of here because, well, you know, the unknowns are pretty creepy. They are very, very, very creepy. So, let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Giratina. And, as always, Giratina will have the Gracious Orb. And, uh, well... It doesn't matter which one you pick, they will always have their, well, their, their uh, specified uh, orb, you know, just to power it up or change its form. As you guys can see, it was born just today. It's at level one. So it's not going to have all these moves that you want, but you can train it up to be the BA badass Pokemon that you want. And, uh, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, I wonder what happens if we take the item away. So let's go ahead and take away the item. And just like that, Giratina transforms into... What kind of form is it? Oh, look at that. Okay, so it turns into some kind of form right here. Completely forgot what it was called, but there's no change in anything. 
but there's a big but big booty butt that is we're gonna give it back it's uh it's gristus orb that way you know it powers it up and all that stuff so here we go gristus orbs bam back and this pokemon has been transformed yes anywho guys this has been the very first episode back to pokemon heart gold soul silver in the next episode we're going to continue on with our event pokemon we're going to get them out of the way that way we can finish up this walkthrough just like how we intended it to. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being so supportive and patient as always. I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our Advent Pokemon challenges. See you guys.